hi everyone uh, i'm fawaz hussain and this is my first video hopefully in a long series of uh, videos of me solving lead code questions so let's jump to our first question so the first question is uh, this is a uh, number of islands so let's read out the question and then uh, talk about it so we've been given a 2d matrix of ones and zeros uh, in which one is a land and zero is water so we're expected to return the number of islands so uh, what is an island an island is a piece of land which is surrounded by water so so this the first element of this matrix could be considered uh, an island if it was surrounded by water so we're considering uh, we're considering anything above and beyond the edge or uh, as water so so basically what we're uh, what we're going to do in this question is to find the number of uh, connected lands which are surrounded by water so for example uh, in this in the first example this whole uh, connected component of ones uh, and by one i mean uh, land so this whole connected component of ones can be connect uh, can be considered as one whole island so uh, in everything from the, the first four elements and these uh, these four ones and then this one so that this is one so this is one whole connected island so essentially what we're doing is um, finding the number of uh, connected component of lands so um, the first thing that should uh, that clicks in my mind is a uh, depth first search so whenever i see a uh, whenever i whenever i see a one i'm going to uh, traverse to adjacent cells uh, or elements and explore um, to see if i have any other connected lands and i'm going to do it for um, every adjacent uh, every connected every connected cell so at the point where i have explored uh, all my all my possibilities and i have nothing more to explore i'll just uh, return uh, return one meaning i have explored one whole island so yeah so what's the best way to do this uh, the best way to do this would be uh, a depth first search so i'll explain it as i write my code so this is going to be my final answer this is uh, this variable is going to hold the number of islands this is stick to so uh, i i need to traverse this whole matrix so what so i'm going to use a double for loop and i am interested in an element only if it is land so i'm going to have to, i'm going to explore the adjacent elements only if it's land so uh, i'm going to consider i'm going to assume that i'm going to uh, have a helper function called dfs which will take the matrix as input and the current position that we're in as uh, input and then uh, return if it's return um, so what this uh, helper function would essentially do is explore uh, all the possibilities explore all the um, adjacent cells and then and then uh, mark them as visited so that we don't have so that we don't explore the same cell again and again so i'm going to uh, instead of um, the usual way of doing this would be to uh, have a separate array to consider to mark elements as uh, visited or not instead of that i'm going to have uh, do something cool cooler than that uh, much easier let's just so this is character matrix and just going to check the position so um, i need to write um i need to write um, a condition which will check for an uh, border conditions like if if my current position is uh, less than zero or anything which is out of normal so So in that case, I'm just going to return zero. So the, the, the number of islands in that case is zero. Uh, and then to mark and um, to mark a cell as uh, visited, I'm just going to convert it. Uh, I'm just going to drown it. So 
I'm j- I'm going to drown the island so that uh, I I'm not uh, I'm, I'm not visiting the same island again. So after uh, I'm done with that, I need to explore my uh, adjacent possibilities. So I can go up. I can go up. I can go up, down, right side, and left side. So this is going up. Uh, this is going down. This is going left, and this is going right. So once I'm done exploring all my adjacent cells, I'm going to return one. So this this function is going to explore all the possibilities and then return one once it has uh, drowned all the connected land cells so let's just check if this code is working okay so uh, i don't know why i did this here. sorry this should work hopefully um, okay, okay. Uh, my bad I just forgot to return my number of islands Okay, uh, I forgot a very important condition over here. Uh, I'm interested only if the piece of element is land. So I think this should hopefully work now. Great. So what I did over here is uh, if at any point I'm encountering water, I, I need to I need to go back to my uh, cell. Oh yeah, so that works. Runtime is one millisecond. That's pretty fast. And then, yeah, thanks. And I hope you see. I hope I see you guys later.